Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. So, patch 1.2 went live today. This is the first part that I'm recording with the patch. I won't be talking about all of the changes because there are just way too many. However, there are a few nice additions that I like. The most obvious ones are the new map modes. And so, there's a new opinion map mode now where you can see everyone's opinion about me or about some specific nation that you can choose. So I can see Perm's opinion about Novgorod, everyone's opinion about Novgorod. I can click Perm and see everyone's opinion about Perm. So this is quite useful. And the second map mode is also very useful. It's coalition map mode. This is pretty awesome actually, because now you don't have to go through every single nation and check if there's any coalition against it. I can click on myself and see there are no coalitions. I can see there's a coalition against the Dulkadir. But I can also see that Muscovy is very close to entering a coalition against Novgorod. There's no coalition against Novgorod just yet, but the brown color indicates that uh, Muscovy's opinion about Novgorod's aggressive expansion is at minus 90. So this is kind of a warning that they are very close to entering coalition against them. So this is pretty awesome and very useful. Anyway, I actually skipped a few years because I had Regency Council, as you might remember. There was literally nothing going on for 4 or 5 years. So I'm resuming right after my king took over. 3 free one not too bad, could have been better. I'm making more money after the patch, it seems. I'm making 54 gold per month right now, which is pretty awesome. So, I'm going to continue. I almost have enough opinion in Brandenburg to start annexing them. I'm going to wait for that and then probably go to war against Bohemia. That means I will have to fight Sweden as well, but I'm okay with that. I'm still waiting for my opinion to go up to 190. So I'm going to wait for that. I can send them a gift right now. That should give me plus 15, so let's do it. I want to start annexing them before I declare war. Because... Oh, I can get plus 25, that's nice. Because I can't start the annexation while I'm at war. So I would just waste quite a lot of time if I did that. So 192, I can do it right now. Alright then, let's do it. This will probably take a while because I don't have a statesman. And I don't think I have a statesman available. No, I don't. Diplomat, spy master. Nope, no statesman. Oh well, it's okay. Maybe I'll get a statesman later, you never know. So let's get started. This will definitely take a while. Oh yeah, I need to wait until 28th December, apparently. Military access, how about no? And royal marriage. Yeah, I can accept that. Royal marriage with Novgorod. I'm actually fine with that. Military access, nah. Right, I'm waiting for 28th December right now. Just to start the annexation, there we go. What, 4th February now? That's weird. I guess I should just improve relations a bit more. Royal marriage offer from Finland. Yeah, I guess I can accept that. That always gives me slightly more legitimacy over time, so that's useful. Come on, can I do this yet? I got one diplomat free, so I can start annexing while my other diplomat is working on relations. Come on. 4th February, almost there. That's a lot of requests for military access. I don't feel like granting military access, to be honest. Especially not to Bohemia, when I'm about to attack them. Come on, why can't I do this yet? That's a bit odd. Okay, I don't get it. Why can't I annex them? Oh, they haven't been my vassal for 10 years, right. So I have to wait a little bit longer. Oh well, that means I have to wait 4 more years. Yeah, I was looking at the day and month, but I wasn't looking at the year. Oh well, I'll wait then, not that I have a big choice. I still want to take Newmark or one of these other provinces from Bohemia. So I'm going to declare war on Bohemia. That means I will be at war with Sweden as well, but I'm okay with that. I can actually use the war with Sweden uh, to get Sweden to transfer some provinces to Finland, because Finland is down to one province and they are my ally. 
So let's get started. What are these ideas that I can grab? I can grab minus 10% recruitment time, but I don't really need it right now to be honest. Alright, let's raise army maintenance, fleet maintenance, and I should be making some money still. Right. My income definitely went up after the patch. I read all of the patch notes, but there are so many that it's just impossible to memorize all of them. <laughs> but there are a lot of really good changes. I'm just waiting for my morale to go up right now. No, so just stop asking for military access. And let's see if there are any interesting missions. Not really. I could get a claim on this province, but do I want to grab it? I guess I could. There were some changes to creating cores, but again, I really don't remember everything. But I could actually grab this. Huh. Maybe later. I just want to take Newmark first. So, just waiting for my morale to go up. It seems to be going up slower now. Yeah, it's definitely slower. I formed personal union with Novgorod. Alright then. There we go. Let's declare war. So this should be interesting. Speaking of wars, allies are now less likely to join offensive wars and more likely to join defensive wars. I remember that one. Right, conquest. Oh yeah, minus 5 stability because I have military access. I need to revoke that first. I'm glad I didn't click that because I would lose 5 stability. That's here. Now I need to wait a little bit before I can declare war. This should be fast. I don't plan going for a lot of war score. I'll just take new mark. Defeat their armies and sign peace deal as soon as possible. Right, now I can declare war safely. I will be at war with possibly Austria and Crimea. And probably with Sweden. Finland would join, but I don't really want Finland to join. Sweden would just occupy their only province. So that's not good. Military access for Portugal? Yeah, I guess I can grant it, whatever. Alright, this is their main army, I assume. Do I actually have a military leader right now? No, I don't. Let's grab one then. Not bad. Four in fire, three in shock. Zero in siege, unfortunately, and zero in maneuver. Oh well, could have been worse. Alright, let's move in then. I need to take Newmark first, because that's my actual war goal, obviously. And yeah, he's actually attacking me. Oh, that was smart, kind of, because I can't send reinforcements directly. Right, let's blockade this. I think I'm going to win though, he's getting river crossing penalty right now. So I should win that, no problem. There we go, I did. Oh yeah, I'm at war with Austria. Who am I at war with? Oh yeah, all of these people joined the war. But Crimea won't be a threat, they are busy. Austria won't really be a threat either. Austria is down to four provinces. I'm surprised the Ottomans didn't wipe them out yet. I might as well just move in and take their capital. That should give me some decent war score, in fact. But I don't need 48 regiments in here. I actually want to destroy these armies down up here. Wow, that was a lot of war score. From a very easy fight. Alright, let's move. I want to catch that army. But they are moving west. No, they are moving north. Now they changed their mind. Okay. Oh, they are actually moving in? No, they are not. What the heck are they doing? 18th July. Yeah, they will... Actually, no, I will catch them. Huh, should I? I could use some reinforcements there. Right, I'm going to send some reinforcements just in case. I think I'm going to get river crossing penalty. I'm not sure. Yes, I did get a penalty. Minus one. So the reinforcements might actually be needed here. Other than that, it's going well. What's this? Danish peasants? What? Are they in the middle of the southern Baltic Sea? That's a bit strange. What the heck is going on here? That seems like a glitch. I have no idea what's that all about. Alright, let's siege some of these then. I don't think I'm going to siege Austria's capital. Yeah, minus 5 from 4th level. I think I'll pass. 
Mandos far in here. Yeah, I'll pass. I could send some more artillery to New Mark. I'm only getting no, I'm getting plus three. All right, but I could send some more. Let's see if I send three more artillery regiments. I'm going to get plus one bonus. But yeah, I actually need to grab. Oh wow, plus thirteen war score. I didn't even see that. I'll just leave it like this. It shouldn't take too long anyway. I'm already at 16% war score. So what I can do is get Sweden to give Finland some of these territories. Just to strengthen Finland a little bit. I don't want Finland to get wiped out. Definitely not. Yeah, my ally is having a bad time. But they didn't declare war on Sweden, did they? Yes, they actually did. Alright. Even though I didn't call my allies to war, that's interesting. Should I get rid of these guys? Yeah, I guess I should. So, minus 14%. I mostly need this province because, again, that's my actual war goal. Lose one stability, gain free inflation, what? My inflation is at zero, so I suppose I could afford getting some inflation. Also, uh, one of the major changes in the patch is that you can reduce inflation without having economic ideas now, which is kind of nice. So even though I don't have economic ideas now, I can use my administrative power to reduce inflation, which is nice. So I'm glad I didn't go for economic ideas. Can I catch them? Maybe. They will change their mind now, probably, or not. 16% war score, and I don't even have the province. But yeah, I will lose some war score if Sweden sieges all of these provinces successfully. But hopefully I will be faster. I could send my army northeast and just get rid of all of this. Maybe, maybe I will. I might do that once I'm done with sieging Newmark. They are recruiting more troops. Good luck with that. Not going to happen. Come on. Also, you always get attrition now when sieging. At least 1%. That was one of the changes. Yeah, plus 1% due to siege, as you can see. And this is something you always get now in sieges. Regardless of how many troops you're using. Military access for Denmark? Whatever I can accept. How's my revolt risk? Zero, okay. Come on, hurry up with Newmark. I need to help Novgorod before they lose all of these provinces. Yeah, they will definitely they will, they will definitely lose some of them before I can help. Okay. I need to keep an eye on Bohemia. Come on, 21% should be done soon. I guess I could assault it, but do I really want to? It should be done any moment now. And there are 3000 defenders. I think I'll pass on assaulting that. I don't really want to waste manpower, to be honest. Come on, hurry up. Oh nice, plus 5 diplomatic reputation. Oh, that's perfect, because that's going to help me with Brandenburg. With annexation. I didn't catch how long that's going to last. Improved reputation until 1692. And I think I can start annexing Brandenburg in 1690 or something like that. So yeah, that will help. Would be great if I got a statesman, but there's none available, unfortunately. I'll keep checking just in case I get one, but that seems unlikely. Another change I remember from the patch notes is that when you create a core in a province, it can't take longer than 20 years now. So that's kind of nice, I suppose. Right, I'll send these guys here to deal with Sweden. Because I will be losing war score from that. I need to keep an eye on this army though. There we go. Now I could get rid of that army. With some more troops. Where's my actual leader? There he is. Perfect. So let's move in. They are actually sieging Brandenburg, so that's not good. 
I don't think I can catch them now. 25th John? No, I can't. Which is kind of annoying. Maybe now? No? Great. I guess I need to bait them. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So, let's try like this. I just need them not to move for a moment. And there we go. That should work now. This should be enough to beat them, but I will get minus one penalty. But I should win, no problem. There we go. I'm going to Sun Peace pretty soon, but not just yet. I want to get some more score. I'll probably just beat all of these armies and then Sun Peace. I should get decent war score for beating this army with 37 regiments. But I'm going to need my leader. So I need to reassign my military leader. He's still moving down here. 15 regiments. Right, let's get rid of them then. This should be enough. Maybe I should grab some more. Right. This should be enough. He's actually staying there. Nice try. Great. Let's do that trick again, I suppose. Just to get rid of that army. Nope, they didn't change their mind still. Okay. What about now? There we go. So... No, they are still leaving. How annoying. Come on. Let's split this even more then. Okay, now they are staying. This should be good enough. It's a little bit annoying micromanaging like this, but... It's the easiest way to get the AI to engage you. I win. Right, I still need my military leader here. Are they actually attacking me actively? Yes, they are. Okay, interesting. I should be fine with my general. And I have some more troops in here. And another nice thing in the punch is that your allies seem to be more likely to join up with your armies. Is he running away? No, he's not. So I should win this, no problem. And this should give me some really nice war score. Right, I really need to be careful here, though. Come on. I should win this fight. There we go. And this one. This should give me some good war score, hopefully. Come on, don't lose. I'm winning, but barely. Only plus two war score? I was hoping for more than that. 23%, huh. Well, these sieges should be done soon, so I think I'll just wait for that. Yeah, I can get some more. Oh, and another thing that I really like is that your war exhaustion from combat increases slower. That was a huge problem in Long Wars. I had some wars with massive war exhaustion, which resulted in huge uh, revolt risk. So I'm glad that got toned down a little bit. It's definitely much slower now. I'm only at 1.44. Before the patch, I would have been at at least 4 or 5 already. I'm pretty sure about that. At least it does go up much slower now. Another siege is done. So I'm going to Sun Peace soon. I'm just getting some extra war score right now. Some easy war score. Wow, plus 6.85, awesome. So I think this is going to be enough. I'll just let these sieges finish. Because they are almost done. This one is almost done. So I'll wait for that. I don't think I'm going to bother sieging these provinces. That's a waste of time. I can get rid of these armies, I suppose. Just because I can. Come on, finish the siege already. There we go. Another one done. And one more. Well, actually, 36%, this is enough. So let's see what kind of deal can I get. Oh, and this is new as well. You can suggest demands, which constructs a deal that your enemy will accept. It's kind of nice, I guess, but I won't be using it. Right, so I'm going to grab new mark. That was my actual goal. And what else? 
Let's see. I want them to give Finland some territories, so... I could get them to return some cores to Finland, like this one for example. No, they won't accept. What if I sort by war score? Nope, they won't accept. I don't have enough war score apparently. I could get some more. Huh. I do want to help Finland a little bit, so... I guess I'm going to wait for some more war score. Right, let's do it. This siege should be done soon. I could siege some of these provinces, but some of these are really well fortified. I will get rid of these armies though. Before they finish the siege, these guys might... yeah, they finished it. Oh well. I could always assault them. There shouldn't be too many defenders in there. 38%. A little bit better now. I need to keep an eye on my armies over here. Okay, what's that? Oh, that's my level 3 advisor, I think. What's this all about? Plus 1 stability. Plus 0 0.10 yearly inflation reduction. Or... Uh, okay, plus 1 stability or plus 50 prestige. I'm at 100 prestige, so I'll go for stability. And I'm actually losing money right now. I need to hurry up with this war. But it should be done soon. 39%. I'll get 40 something percent and then just call it a day. And I can just assault this, I think. Hmm. It's a little bit risky with no progress. 800 defenders. I think I'll wait a moment. I'll wait for this siege to finish. And then see if I can get a decent deal. I want to return at least one core to Finland as part of this peace deal. Come on. Alright, let's assault this. Shouldn't be a problem. I hope. I hope that was not a mistake. There we go. 37%, so that didn't help a lot. This should help. When I'm actually done there. I could also blockade Stockholm. That might give me more war score. Oh, great. I actually lost? What? How the heck did that happen? I have no idea what happened there. But now I win. That was a bit odd. Oh wow, 52 regiments? Holy crap. That's a huge fight right here. If I lose this fight, I'm going to lose a lot of war score. It's going to be extremely close. Come on. Give me a nice roll. Nice. Okay, I think I'm pushing my luck a little bit now. So I'm going to sign a peace deal. 33% war score is good. So... New mark and return cores. Alright, so I can return some cores to Finland. Just one. But one is better than nothing, it will help them a little bit. What else? Can I get them to cancel some treaties? No, unfortunately not. So I'll just get some money. No, I can't even get any money. So this will have to do. I don't think I can get them to revoke any cores. So this will have to do, I guess. No, these are not mine. None of these are mine. From what I can see. I don't have enough war score for it anyway. Right. I'm fine with this. So Finland should get an extra province, and it did. I did have to spend 33 diplomatic power for it, but... I think it was worth it. Finland is one of my only allies in this game, so I don't want them to get wiped out. And weakening Sweden always helps. So lower army maintenance, lower fleet maintenance, and now I'm making 52 gold per month again. Let's move back. I can actually recruit some more troops. I'm not nearly at my force limit right now, I think. Although I think I'm getting some extra force limit from one of my advisors. No, I'm not. So I could recruit some more. My force limit did go up after the patch. Yeah, military coalition against me. I'll have to be careful with coalitions. Also, now I can... No, I can't start annexing Brandenburg yet, unfortunately. I need two more years, I believe. That's dynastic actions. Yep, for February 1690. Alright then, I'll wait. Not that I have a big choice. So, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.